Hello, happy Monday! Here we are again, week four already, vlog four, where I discuss topics in health and wellness, fitness and weight loss. These vlogs are always going to be short, five minutes or less, so my answers are just going to be snippets of information that I hope inspires you to investigate further on your own, give you something to consider. If you want to talk about any of this more with me, please send me a private message. I love to talk and can talk about anything. Okay, so the question of the day is, how do I get started in exercise and fitness? Well, first I want to say that you just have to start. A lot of times we think there's a lot of obstacles in our way to get going and they're not true. You don't need a new piece of equipment. You don't need a new outfit. You do not need to be able to afford a gym membership. You don't need anything. All of those things are just distractions. Oh, you do not need to lose weight before you get fit. That's a big one. I hear that one a lot. All of that is just a distraction, kind of like an excuse right now, holding you back from getting started. Now, my, my best piece of advice for getting started in exercise is actually walking. And a lot of people think, oh, just walking, that's not worth my time. If you're a beginner, walking is a fantastic way. It is the best way, really, to start to build up your cardio, you know, get a good foundation where that you can sustain an elevated heart rate for a, a period of time. You don't need a lot of time, 10 minutes. Walking is also very, very good for stress management. If you are a high stress person or if you're in a high stress environment, whether it be at work or at home, a short walk may be just enough to help manage your stress a little bit so that other parts of your life start to get a little bit easier. You know, you're able to make a healthy dinner. You, you feel more motivated to implement other changes in your life towards health and wellness. So a great place to start is definitely walking. Don't underestimate it. You don't need a lot of time. But another good option is home body weight workouts. Indoor, in your house, in the office, in the park, anywhere you are, you can actually get a great workout with just your body. You don't need any equipment. Now, you know, that being said, I want to talk about my favorite body weight exercise. And a lot of you know me well, and this is this is not a surprise to you. My favorite exercise is definitely the burpee. Now, the burpee is an intense intimidating exercise. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of story here. I used to avoid this bur the burpee. I totally avoided it for many, many years. I was in phenomenal shape, you know, I think. I was running half marathons, I was weight training, I was doing it all. I was doing high intensity workouts, but I never did the burpee. The burpee kicked my butt so badly that it humbled me and I avoided it, I hated it. One day I was at home, this was winter, I was on holidays, um, I did not have any equipment in my home and I really wanted to get in a short, high-intensity workout, and I turned to the burpee. And it took a little while, you know, it took a few weeks of, of consistent effort, but I started to overcome doing these burpees. You know, they were hard, but I was doing it. I was, succe I was succeeding. And after a little while, I started to feel really awesome about this. You know, I was, I was conquering this exercise that I had avoided because it was so difficult. And what I realized was that there are so many ways to modify it, just like any other exercise, from beginner to advanced, that meant that I could progress you know, in steps. I did not have to be capable of doing the hardest option right away. I could start at my level and slowly build up over time, which is what exactly what I did. And this inspired me to do more. There is now no exercise that I think is off limits. I am capable of anything I want to physically achieve if I just take it step by step. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about with the burpees, pause this, go check it out, you know, Google it, and then come back and we'll finish our talk. Why do I think the burpee is so awesome now? Well, first, like I mentioned, it, it inspired me. Overcoming something that I was avoiding totally motivated me to, to take on more and to want to achieve more because now I knew that I could. But also, you know, it can be, like I said, it can be beginner to advanced. There's so many ways to modify it. It is a phenomenal cardio exercise. That means your heart rate can, was going to be really, really high. It's going to, you know, it gives you that great cardio effect. But it's also a strength exercise. You are actually building muscle while you do it. It's also a flexibility exercise. And lastly, it's a mobility exercise, meaning you are learning and training to get up and down off the floor fast. That is a phenomenal skill that we lose over time as we age. You want to hang on to that for the best possible health and wellness forever. So how to get started? Just get out the door. Get going. Go for a walk. Don't overthink it. 
You do not need to lose weight before you start. Get going. And the burpee, the, the best, my favorite body weight exercise ever. Try one today. Start with a beginner option and build up as you can. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great week.